Okay, in this video, I want to talk about splitting panes in the Pulsar text editor and navigating between the panes. I'm going to show you how to do it with the command palette and also with keyboard chords. Okay, so let's say I wanted to split this pane right so I could have two files open at the same time. I'm working on this index.html for a supernatural fan site example to put up for my students because I'm teaching a web development course. Now, at the same time, I'm using images from Wikimedia Commons, and one of the uh, conditions of the license is I give attribution. So I want to uh, copy down the attribution links in this other file, and I want to be able to see both files at the same time and quickly navigate between them. So one way I can split panes, and if I want to split the pane right, is I can do Control Shift P to open up the command command palette and type split, and then you'll see pane split split up, pane split down, pane split left, and pane split right. So I can do that. Okay, so I'll split the pane right here, and then I can click on the attribution, and it fills that pane. Okay, then I can close the sidebar with control and the slash below the backspace. And if I want to navigate from the index.html to the attribution.html just with keyboard shortcuts, I can do control K, control right arrow. Okay, so I hold down the control key and do K and then right arrow. To go back, I can do control K, control left arrow. And that puts me over in this one. Okay. If I want to close out one of them, like let's say I'm done with the attribution file, I can do control K, control right, and then I can do control W to close that out. Okay, now I'm back to one window. If I want to open a window pane and I just want to use a keyboard shortcut, what I can do is control K and then right arrow without the control. So I can do control K, right arrow. Okay, so that opens up the pane. Now I would have to go here to, to the opening the sidebar with the control and the slash under the backspace, open the attribution over here, and then you know, close this one out. So I can do that as well. Okay, And then I can do control slash to close out the sidebar and then work on both of my files and navigate back and forth. Okay, Let's say I want to close this one out here. I may also want to open a file below, so I could do control K down and that could split the file below and then i could do i could open with control o and just open the attribution that way and just close this one out and then i could work this way between files as well or maybe i could even go here and then do control k uh, right arrow to open up you know three files at the same time and you could go down here and do the same thing um, I'm going to close out some of these windows here. I could also do um, Control K up arrow, and that's going to op open above. You may not notice much of a difference because it just opens the same file above, but that's another way you can do it. Uh, I can do Control W to close out one of the files, and I can work with multiple panes that way. Now, how did I figure all this stuff out? Well, I figured it out with the command palette itself, okay? So if I do control shift P and I wanna say, you know, split pane and I start looking down here, uh, I start looking at these different things. I'm going, oh, okay. So I wanna look for pane, right? So I, I can see split left and copy active item. So that's what was happening when I did control K left. So a lot of these are under pane. So I'll search for pane here and I can close. Okay, close with control K, control W, close the entire pane. Uh, focus the next pane, control K, control N. Okay, um, window focus on the pane above, control K, control up. Window focus on the pane below, control K, control down. And if I keep going down, I can see a bunch of different things. Um, I can do Alt 1 to show uh, the first item in the pane, Alt 2, okay, so some of those. So, I mean, what is that showing you? So if I do Control K and then the right arrow, I'm going to copy and open a pane to the right. And let's open Control 
uh, a file with control O, and then I can go to uh, attribution and open that one. And now I have it focused here, but let's say I want to go to here. Well, let's try Alt-1, and that focuses it back on this file, or Alt-2 to focus back on this file. So that's another way you can work with the files and your panes. And again, I learned that with Control-Shift-P, just typing pane and going through the various options. So you can go through all of these. There's a lot that I still haven't covered in this video, but if you're interested in this, you can do Control Shift P and look at all of these options. Okay, um, a ton here. Like for instance, Control K, Control plus Alt plus W to close the other item. So let's just try that. So we'll do Control K, Control Alt W, and that closes the other files in your pane. Okay. That's kind of cool. So again, so if I open another file, like open the index here, okay, and I go to this attribution, I can do Control K, Control Alt W, and that closes everything but the attribution file. Okay, and again, to close this, I can do Control W. Okay, so that's just a brief overview on working with panes in the Pulsar text editor. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you give it a share and a like, and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.